doing something a little different today we're doing block work and face brickwork on an internal and we're pointing the block work up so you can see we're sort of cutting and tooting that in there make that all work and then uh, see where we go doing a bit of a trade off on my comp all day because I want about lay bricks with it but also I want about to get them blocks out. it's been really damp the blocks are not not soaked but they're not they're still damp so I've got to sort of work in the two say it's really doughy but that's good We can see I've got a 50 mil bit there, and the reason that is because I had to return this brickwork round, and I want to dye it a piece in there. I didn't want a piece anywhere else in there. And that's as simple as that. So it's a little bit more work, but that give me the look that I want. I want straight bricks all the way through. I can do a three quarter on a piece, not a problem. And that's why I've done it. So you can see here I'm now creating the bond between the brickwork and the block work look. It's a little bit fiddly, but that's what that, that gives me what I want. I don't care if it's fiddly. So it's a bit of work. Then next time we'll put a three-quarter over that, and that'll keep our cavity in sweet. And that's how we tie the block work to the brickwork. So let's get a better look at that. So you can see to keep the run, that little piece you never see, then we'll put a quarter in there. Then we'll tell you it all together. And that's how you do it. Let's get our pin in. Get that like that on top of there. And put that in there. So we can see I've got the pin in there. And come along. And I'll set my block up on there. Right? You put your block just at the top of the brick. And that's what we work to down that line. Fill up your in. Bosh. So we can see it coming now. See that tooth there? So we're starting to take shape. When I get two more on that, then we can run some block work in as well. Oh, 
good in terms of that's, uh, not as flexible as like it because obviously I'm trying to use it for the block work as well. It just makes it a little harder. Get in for it. effort into it, your face brickwork on the outside, that pays the dividends when you're doing this because I just deal with my eye, I know that the outside is level, as long as I keep something near it, I ain't far away. Takes away a lot of air guessing, I know that bit's right. Cool. Had a nice cup of Charlie Lee come in. Look at that bad boy. Proper builder's tea. Proper nice cup and a spoon man. <laughs> Somebody stop him. Somebody stop him. So we can see I now got my line up. And because I can't put the pin in there, I wrap it round the brick, and then put this on top of it just to give it a bit of weight, and then that's how we get that one rolling. So let's get on that. On there. And then we can uh, make it a little bit tighter. If you pull your line too tight, the brick will just fall off. <laughs> Drop him in there. Lovely. Break that, you don't get nothing on the brick. When you first start, that's a nightmare. You scrape it, go everywhere. But that come eventually. A bit of persistence. Food smack around the local for a master builder. And everything's good. You do need that sometimes. You do need that little bolt around the air just to uh, keep you in line on the soap boy. This is the thing. Well, it's it. Oh, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Baby, that's through there. Okay, Tom and O'Ray some block work up with the brickwork. So we'll just, uh, let's get on with it. that course there. Cool. Bond over that one.
That is up the storm. Yeah. <laughs> 